yeah, he's going right to work. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. As you can see, my sand bed is still not in pristine condition. I have not seen the diamond goby since we put him in, so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that he is a goner. We're gonna go try to pick up another one. Hopefully they have one in stock. And uh, also have some pretty exciting news that I'm gonna share with you guys today for something that you could do after this video. Stick around. I have not cleaned my glass since water change day like a week and a half ago, so that's hence the uh, dirty, you know, glass but other than that i mean still a freaking growth popping off especially on this side this side looks freaking fire sino is still causing issues really need to trim this guy got to get rid of like all of this unfortunately the sino even kind of knocked out these rainbow trolls a little bit i kind of moved them but then they weren't getting enough light so i put them back here and then i just got a couple like polyps over here that are hanging on by a thread uh, these guys are freaking, they get fluffy during the day. Look at that. So dope. These, these would be the ones that I would want to spot feed on like a macro lens. We'll do that soon. Look at the Space Invader Chalice. It's like growing over everything. And then the Green Slimer is doing really good this way, but I have to actually break off the Monty up there because, check it out, it's shading. It's growing out too much, so it's starting to shade the right side of the Green Slimer, and obviously I don't want that, so... Gotta get rid of that. All the fish homies are thriving, loving life. And I just saw Quincy here somewhere. He must have he must have gone back into his cave. Oh, there he is. Heidi, look at that. He blends in. What's up, buddy? All right, let's go shopping. I was gonna wait, but I'm just too excited. Right now, you can pause this video and go pick up your SkellyFest tickets, www.skellyfest.com. The tickets are on sale today, so you guys can be right in there real quick. We got general admission, and then we have 50 VIP spots. Only 50, that's it. There won't be more, just 50. If you haven't heard me talk about SkellyFest yet, it's the event I'm throwing down here in South Florida, Miami specifically. It's an aquatic event. We got two huge rooms. We have a whole coral room then we have another vendor room we got a lounge we got a raffle section like if you're in south florida you're gonna want to pick up tickets to this event i mean at least you just come say what's up to me you know hey anyway so yeah right now pause the video go pick up your tickets to skelly fest once you do drop a comment let me know you're coming you guys ready to see the perks of spending all your money on coffee check this out here we go here we go hi how are you uh, can i please get a medium ice caramel macchiato yeah of course and with an extra shot too an extra shot yeah Total is exactly zero dollars. $3.99, baby. Woo! I had to spend $300 to get that free drink, but I freaking got it. Well, there's a dog fight going on in here right now. Dang, those little puppies are going ham. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're really cute, but holy shoot. <laughs> They're going bonkers. This looks different. I'm confused. I feel I feel like that wasn't there before. I don't know. I'm tripping out. Ooh, look at this pretty guy. That's the torch that I had that died. I feel like they cleared all this out too. I can't be losing my mind that much. I feel like this was a whole different rock structure before. I'm gonna have to go back and look at videos because I feel like a lot of things are different and I'm not sure if I'm just like freaking out right now or oh maybe it was this tank this one and nah, I feel like it was this one I feel like this was definitely like full of stuff before and now it's not I'm gonna drop some Ghanis in the nano tank and then I'm gonna have cool little flourishing gardens of Ghanis those are pretty bright but you guys know I want the bleeding apple dang this is a plate I had no idea those are cool Let's find our diamond goby. That's not him. None of these. Whoa, look at the nose on that thing. Huh. A bird wrasse. That makes sense because it's got a bird nose. Bird beak. These hermit crabs are humongous. I don't know if you could tell like how big they are, but like look at my finger. Them things are huge. Look at that one back there. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. I gotta go to the other side. These things are monsters. Huge. I've never seen hermit crabs so big in my entire life. Oh, I think those are our, these are our boys. This was stocked before, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm not, I know I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Uh, or they don't like it anymore, so they made them uh, redo it again. 
Nice. Yeah, all right, I'm just making sure. I knew I still got a little bit of smarts in there. So these are our homies. Damn, 35 bucks. These things got expensive. He looks nice and active. He looks a little bigger. And there is another one. Oh yeah, look at him eat. That's the one I want. That one right there. Oh no, man down. Come on, bud. You could survive, I believe in you. Where are they getting these hermit crabs from? These things are monsters. Oh no. I don't think that is a fake fish. I think that is a dead fish. Dying fish. Tear, that's two dying fish. That's not good. What else do we got? What Holy, that's the biggest one yet. For sure, that one right there. Monster freaking hermit. Tomato clown. They're fast. They're so fast. <laughs> oh, 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 you got one. Oh, you got him. Oh, he's a feisty one too. So Mr. Diamond Gobi is actually for the 65 gallon reef tank, just like the other one was. And as much as I really would love to just throw it in here and just call it a day and cross my fingers to the fish gods and just let it roll, I've talked myself out of it. I don't want to do it. It's not worth it. All my fish have been doing so good in here all by themselves. Everything's been behaving. Everything's been doing freaking great knock on the noggin. Um, so I just don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. So I'm going to put him into the nano tank again as a little like mini quarantine for a couple weeks. And uh, I'm probably going to be kicking myself in the ass for that when I have to try to get him out again. But, um, you know, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Put this guy in there and then risk all my homies. Like not worth it. Not worth it at all. Hey, by the way, guys, now that you can see more color coming out of this guy, Anybody got an ID for it? We got pink, yellow, and green in it. Literally one of my favorite. It's got such a good mix of colors coming out. And I just, I don't know. I don't know the name of it. So if you got a name, let me know. Rock flowers still haven't gotten off the wall. This guy just keeps crawling over. At this point, I'm just gonna freaking leave him on the floor. He looks like he wants to be there. And uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much doing good. So this is where he's gonna live for a little bit. Also, the bubble algae is almost completely eradicated. Literally, like I see two, three pieces of bubble algae, which is now better than my other tank. So super solid on that point. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be too much water. Yeah, dude, this is gonna overspill. I need to dump some out. All right, that seemed to do the trick. We are super close to the water line right there, but it seems to work. He's a little bit smaller than the guy we had before, which is good. Um, and he seems to be super active and agile. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him sit for probably like 15 minutes, just temp acclimating. And then I'm going to do a little bit of an add-on into the bag just to kind of adjust the salinity a little bit just so it's not such a big jump for him honestly the reason so even more the reason even more so that i want to put him into the nano first as kind of like a qt tank is because i saw like three fish dead or like dying on the outskirts over there so that's not really like, like super uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for that's not super like comforting you know when you're getting a fish you don't know what's wrong with them. Maybe they're just not adjusting well. Maybe they're sick. You don't know. So little QT tank. That's the that's the one good thing that I'm liking about this tank. Not that I get fish all the time, and not that I could put every fish in here, but so far it's worked out for the diamond gobies. He's chilling in there. Let's give this a go. Oh gosh, what a mess. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was stupid, Bianca. You see, because then I'm putting. The container that I'm going to put in my tank inside of the water that's not from my tank, so don't want to do that. Probably only do this once, to be honest. I'm super smart right now. I'm, I'm doing some really smart things. That ought to mix well. Perfect. Sorry, bud. I got you all worked up again. We're going to give you another 10 minutes, and then you're going to run wild in there. You are feisty. I need you to do that work when you're... Oh, you're going to make a mess all over my rock flowers. All right, we're sending it. So we're going to get this little guy down here. You got to remember, these things are jumpers. They are crazy fast, and they jump all over the place. So we got to get him from here to here without him jumping over here. I think if we could scoop him up safely... 
will be good. But I don't want to freak him out. No need to panic, buddy. All right. So we captured him. I think. Yeah, he's there. Here we go. Woo! Okay. All right, let's put the top on real quick because I do not want him to jump out. He's definitely a little smaller than the first one. And he is... Oh, yeah, he's going right to work. My guy. So that's the bad thing here. I forgot I'm going to get a bit of a mess here because he just moved into his home. And like the first one did, I'm imagining this one will do the same thing. It will... Yo, he is freaking... Dude, he's more rowdy than the other one. That's insane. He's eating right away. I don't know if... I don't know what's going on. He's either really hungry, my sand bed's really dirty, but it doesn't look that dirty. Dude, I'm, I am, I am super stoked right now that he's eating like this. He didn't even need to freaking, look at it all coming out of the bottom of his gills. Our boy is hungry in there. He's going to work. I cannot wait to put him in the 65 gallon. I'm going to give it like a week, maybe two. If he's doing good, we're going to freaking figure out how to get him out of here and send him over there. Don't forget guys, right now, Skelly Fest tickets are on sale September 24th in Miami, Florida, the ultimate aquatic expo. Get your tickets. I'll drop the link down below. We only got 50 VIP tickets, so... Make sure to pick yours up if that's what you're looking for. You get the early admission. You get a bunch of goodies in the VIP bag. Meet and greet. All the good stuff. So check it out. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. Turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. And shop the merch. Shoplater.com. We got stickers, hats, shirts, all the goodies. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.